Welcome to the stream. Uh, let's get everything uh, in the right position here. I got both fans blasting because it's about 80 degrees in here. And I'm about to start drinking coffee while I just got out of the shower. So it's kind of like heat on heat on heat. I don't really want to have to turn the air conditioner on tonight. So I hope I can avoid that. Uh, we'll see if I can maintain the temperature in here or not. Or if it ends up getting much warmer. Uh, how is everyone tonight? I hope you're doing well. If you're wondering why I just banned Elbereth, it's because Elbereth is the sock account of Varda, who's the sock account of Nienna, who's the sock account of the sock account of the sock account of the sock account. It's about the 100th sock account. And I Who had cares, to, so I dude? I them because I'm tired of sock accounts people I already banned. Who <clears throat> fucking cares, dude? Arkham, how's it going? Good evening. You should be so lucky that people care about you. You wish I would play the Redfall for the laughs? There literally would not be any laughs. It's not it's not a funny laugh game. It's a wow, this game is absolutely atrociously bad game. I wish I didn't spend time playing it and I could get my time back. Like I my wife and I 90 minutes wasted on Wednesday where we were sitting there and she decided to play it and we tried it together and it was so bad. I'm like I wish we never booted it. It was atrociously bad, so I'm not playing it. No, it was not the Baxters Arkham. It was all the I told I just told you Nienna, uh Varda, this Elberith and someone else too. There was another name. That were all the same person. I forgot their in middle name. I think it was the name after Nienna, but before Varda. That and they just keep getting banned, and then they come back with another sock and another sock and another sock. It it, it pisses me off. That's it's the really internet, bad. dude. Like, come on, man. Who cares, dude? It's just stupid. Where's the proof? Why do I need proof? Why do I have to show you any proof? Who are you? Yeah, show us the proof. Ah! Though. Why the fuck do I have to show you proof? Because right? we don't believe you. And by the way, they were in here earlier. And now that I've read the, the conversation in context, they were literally sicking people from Kiwi Farms on other people in my what? chat. No way. Telling them to try to dox them. I didn't understand because I came back in the middle of a conversation during a break. And then I had a chance to go read it back. And I'm like, what the hell is this? So I don't believe it, dude. Show me proof. There you go. Show me proof, Phil. I don't believe it. You're going to the casino at 2 tomorrow, Jade? Good luck. I wish you luck. I hope that you... Try that dance can lose all his money, but bro. If you don't, I hope you still have fun anyway, which is the whole intention of going, right? Okay. Will we see you when we wear a hat tonight? That would be nice. Uh, so far, hasn't happened. Three streams into the week have not hit the tips goal of a hundred dollars on any particular stream. That's rough, uh, dude. And uh, it would be great. I mean, it would really help out considering the fact I didn't even get to work on Tuesday when I should have and was supposed to. So it would be great if. Uh, you guys are liking the content tonight if you could support it in any way tips would be great one way and you hit those tips rewards we'll have different various uh you know uh things like gunner glasses and a hat of your choice unlocked <clears throat> and if people come to my chat and start saying boogie leave something boogie leave something okay what did boogie say someone's tell me what boogie said so we can just talk about it now and get it out of the way because i don't even know what you're talking about it's been like a two days people keep mentioning this I'm like i don't know what you're talking about what did boogie say Let's hear what Boogie said. Yo, Boogie Lee. Did Boogie have a boogie? Boogie. <laughs> yes. What did Boogie say? The Boogie tapes. You're working on a podcast behind the scenes similar to Keem's idea. Uh, boogie and Wings and I have been talking behind the scenes. I say behind the scenes. It's not really behind the scenes. Behind the scenes of what? Our public streams? Why would we talk publicly about it? Doesn't, that, that sounds weird. Like we're sneaking it. There's no sneak talk here. I already told you guys. I would absolutely work with those guys. I already spoken with them way early this year back in like January February about possibly having them on DSP Reacts for interviews and the like they were actually some of the people I was speaking with about possibly doing that uh, all that's happened is that we've had think about the fucking disaster that would be about dude. actually doing a podcast together nothing has happened at all zero we have not even literally sat down and had a discussion yet it's just a DM here an email here I think what's happening is they're busy because they're gonna have their fight uh, soon, right? Within a week or two? I don't even know when it is, because I'm not paying attention to it. And I guess when they're done with that, um, then we're going to sit down and we're going to talk about this podcast. Word of he warning, Wings. Him and Wings 50k, that's ridiculous. Here's, again, I'm going to say this again. You'll end up just like John Rambo. I, I'll say this publicly again, and I'm going to say, I will say this to their face, because I think they, they, they know this inside. Phil will take you um, for everything you got, If man. there was going to be a show with me, Wings, and Boogie, and I decided I don't want to do it. And there was an offer was 50K. Each of us was going to make 50K. By the way, I was never offered that. I never had that discussion with anyone. It never happened. I never talked to Keemstar like that. It never happened. It's a phantom offer that never existed, okay? But let's say hypothetically this was going to happen, okay? I say I don't want to do it. So why didn't the show go ahead with Boogie and Wings? 
who's the determining factor of the show actually happening? So, well, it would in be, reality, it would be a what's joint... the linchpin of the whole fucking thing? Lynch? You see? Linchpin? If there was an offer made to them and not to me for 50k each, correct? Because apparently that's what happened, because I didn't get offered 50k or anything like that. That never happened. All right? And if I don't want to do it, isn't that a fucking humongous, insulting slap in both of their faces to say, sorry guys, you guys aren't worth it. Only if Phil signs on is this show happening because he's the linchpin of getting the show happening with the 50 Bro. offer here. You guys just aren't good enough to do the show yourself. Phil would be the downfall of the whole fucking thing, dude. Dude. Uh, bro, just look at his react show, dude. Look at any of his shows. They're garbage, dude. They're garbage. You really want this guy on a show with you, man? No, dude. He's not funny. He's fake. And he's uninteresting. The second you bring on Phil onto a... Um, into your into your show, you've already you you already sunk, man. You already you already sunk it. Yourselves. I think that's fucked up. I really feel that. I feel that's completely, utterly, one hundred percent fucked up. That if you want to do a show and you think that these guys are good enough to be on a show, just do the show with them. If there's a third party you literally didn't speak to and does no intention of doing the show with you, why am I the linchpin of the show? That doesn't make any sense at all. That tells me, apparently, I'm the most important part of the show, which is fucked up, because I wasn't the one who didn't even talk to anyone about it. You understand? You <laughs> I'm definitely... the thing determining the, no. the future of the show, but I haven't even spoken to You're anyone not. about it. Like, You're how not. does any of this, any of this make any sense whatsoever? It doesn't, right? and that's why it's not true. That's why it's not true. That's not Absolutely true. Absolutely nothing. It makes no sense at all. You're gonna it's be bullshit. you're gonna it be the downfall. To me like uh, it would never existed, or if it did exist, it's not gonna uh, exist. They knew that you know it's never gonna exist. That I was gonna be the one that was gonna make the show. And if it does exist, together. you're I'm gonna sorry, ruin everything. Why else would I be the determining? I factor? guarantee you. Have the show with those guys, or Keem with those guys, right? Why not? I don't get it. I don't. I don't get it. I really don't. You know. And by the way. Yes, the, the the DMs that I got from Keem literally said, I want you to host a show. That's what his DM had said in, on Twitter. He wanted me to host the show, which is why when I said I didn't want to do it, that was the end of it. Um, I think it's kind of fucked up. Honestly, why hinge all of that on one person, the person who literally isn't involved yet? He had talked to Wings and to Boogie before me, yet I was supposed to be involved and the host of this thing. Like, okay, dude, whatever you say. What? So, anyway. I think that's um, bullshit, dude. Honestly. It's bullshit. It's never going to happen. It's, it's water <laughs> it's under the bridge because it never was going to happen regardless. It, I wasn't going to... Exactly. Anyway, exactly. At least you're a realist, Phil. Um, At least you really so, know what's going on. It's bullshit. And, you know, they can be sour grapes about it as much as they want. It doesn't mean that I didn't have the right to deny to work with Keemstar. I have the right to work with whoever I want and who I don't want to work with. Nobody wants to work with you. I don't have a problem working with Boogie or Wings. In fact, I actually think sitting down and having... They don't want to work with you, dude. Them, they don't. About life, about... I think games, they know better, about dude. hobbies, about anything going on, current events, could be really fun and neat and would actually be a really interesting show. I genuinely believe that. Um, So why the fuck did, we, did Keem have to be involved anyway, right? I don't want someone like him personally benefiting off of the efforts of others when he really isn't going to do anything. Who is who is Literally someone like him? It won't add a thing to it. You know, oh, I have connections. You fucking connections. You fucking connect to what? Connect the dots? Connect four? You don't have any fucking connections, you fucking idiot. He's got more connections than you, Phil. Way more, dude. I guarantee that. You got nobody in your corner, Phil. Nobody. So you can't be talking all this shit about... Keemstar, dude. You're talking shit about Keemstar having friends and connections because you have nobody. And you're just jealous, dude. Come on. Let's be real, Phil. Come on, brother. Guys, again, such an overinflated. You talk about me, I have an ego. You want to talk about a person yeah. with a fucking ego. Yeah. It's spelled K E E M. No, 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 no. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. No, 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 no. So, uh, yeah. It's you, buddy. Wh whatever. Again, they have the right to be upset if they feel like I cost them money. They definitely have that right um, to they be should. upset that they wanted the money. But they should be that upset. I'm not the reason they didn't get the money. Keem is. Because Keem literally could have said, well, let's go ahead without him and do a fun show. But he feels like they needed me. 
That says something. No. I, I would be insulted. I literally would be fucking insulted if I were one of them to be told, I want to do a show, but one person who I didn't even speak about it doesn't... If Keem really did want him, dude, that's stupid, dude. Because Phil will sink it. He will sink the whole thing. I guarantee it, dude. Mark my words. Anybody that teams up with Phil, it's going to fail. It will. I guarantee it. Speak to about it. Doesn't Stamp do it, it. Ship it. But so now the show's completely Hold off. me to my like, word, What about dude? them? They can't do it? It's fucked up. Oh, well. But, like I said, we literally have not had a conversation I'll give 20 memberships together. if I'm like, wrong. There's been a couple emails. Jesus Christ. There's going to have been a couple DMs. And the last that I heard, um, we're not sitting down to talk about anything until they're done with their fight. And then they want to meet and talk and, you know, whatever, which I'm down for to have a conversation with them about, you know, the scope and what they want to do or anything like that. Uh, but I wasn't going to... Oh, excuse me. I certainly wasn't going to, uh, you know, talk about it until they decided to. I don't see the point anyway. I, I literally... Am I excited about doing something like that? Sure, I am. Does it really... Is it make or break me if I do it or don't? Nope. You know, it doesn't at all. So... See what happens. Maybe something good will happen. Maybe nothing will happen. And it doesn't really matter, in my opinion. It'll be exciting if something happened. Something different, interesting, a, a crossover yeah, opportunity, perhaps. Yeah, you want that money, right? dude. I know. I know. But let's see. Dreaming, you know, dreaming about 50K, dude. I'm just happy Keem won't be involved. That's all. It's good. You're just, you're just, you're just going to have nothing going on, then. You okay. got nothing going on, dude. That's it. Let's see here. What do you got? What are you going to play next? Do another do another Skyrim oh, playthrough? Oh, see, this is the Alchemist says... Well, that will hurt your reputation. It seems like Wings of Boogie just want to sell out and be lol cows now. If that's the show, then we're not doing it. It's that simple. I'm not doing a lol cow show. You know, they want to have a serious show of d interesting but they're discussion. You're all lol cows, about though. Games, about pop culture, about life, about But news, you're all lol cows, like that. dude. That's I'm the down point. For a real show. I'm not. It's not going to be some fucking dumb show where people pull stunts and fucking d do dumb, disrespectful things and things. Yeah, it'll and be funny. Dude. For money, it's not what it's about. So if that's what they want, then that's not what I'm doing. I refuse. <laughs> You know, or if they want to be stupid on the show and do that, I'll be the straight man. I'll be the host that keeps the show together. The if they want to act like man. jackasses or whatever, if they think that's beneficial, they can do whatever they want. I can't stop them from doing something or acting a certain way. But you guys know how I conduct myself, and you know that's how I'm going to be no matter where I am or what content I'm putting out. I'm not going to be uh, doing anything that I think is degrading or stupid or disrespectful to myself, my, you know, my own self-respect, or my audience. That's the other thing, is that anything that I say and do also reflects on my audience. You understand that? My regulars. I'm not going to have my regulars negatively affected because I decided to be on a podcast and now somehow it, it hurts them. You see what I'm saying? So, uh, so there you go. I guess we'll see what happens. I have, again, I have no clue. But as for them feeling bad that they lost 50K, there was no 50K. It oh, you're so noble, Phil. Because if you didn't speak with all three people and get negotiations going and offer something, the offer never existed. And it never existed for me. So it literally never existed for them either. Um, and again, why I'm the linchpin uh, holding a show together when I was never even explained or offered He's the doing show, it all for his fans, weird, man. He's, right? He's a noble guy. kind of weird. Phil, someone who you don't guy. like is trying to contact you and screaming about you on Twitter. Well, I'm going to ignore them because I want nothing to do with them. Well, they keep yelling they won't shut up. Okay, so I DM the guy. Uh, call me. Okay, here's all the information. Doesn't call me. Then calls me when I'm on stream. Then claims that I wouldn't answer my phone when I was on fucking stream. I don't even know what he's calling me about. Then later on, I found out, oh, you were the linchpin of a fucking podcast. Fuck you. How about that? And, and fuck off and never speak to me ever again because you're not worth my fucking time. Oh, that's not nice. That's very toxic and mean, Phil. How okay. could you? Mm. Let me finish. I have like two sips left and then we can begin. Yeah. Make sure you sip that. Good job. Good job. Ah. Give him a pat on the back. Give him a gold star. No, Redfall is not amazing. You're an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> I can't believe you said that. I saw it. I saw the game. I watched my wife play it for 90 minutes. It's not amazing. It's really bad. <laughs> okay. It's a six. And by the way, Jade, I did see that you said you probably won't be here tomorrow. That's fine. You don't have to be here tomorrow. Have a good day away, man. You don't ever have to tell me if you're going to be here or not. Just tell me when you're here. Come on back and say, hey, I'm here, and then we'll be cool. All right. 
Bloomkey had done another super chat and said the same as a band. The band doesn't work if the members aren't involved. But again, I understand what you're saying. But imagine, okay, that imagine cool, you're a drummer man. and there's a guitarist and a vocalist, okay? Hey, are you a member? It'd be pretty, pretty cool if you were, man. <laughs> but no one ever tells you that you need to be the drummer of a band and then all of a sudden you're the reason a band didn't get together. But no one, I didn't get an offer. Like, what are you talking about? Well, you know what I'm saying? Is what I mean? Like, what? The, it never existed. There was not... Phil, Boogie, and Wing sat down in a room with Keemstar, talked about a show, had a conversation, had contracts out, negotiated. You know, this never happened. Literally, the conversation never even fucking happened. It's nonsense. It's bullshit. It's insanely unprofessional nonsense. <laughs> like, what is going on? Nothing. Nothing ever happened. You want to know what happened? Keemstar screamed on his fucking Twitter and expected the world to bend over for him. That's not how the world works. He's learning that now, I think. I think he's finally understanding. I don't care about him, and I'm not ever going to do anything with him. I'm never going to answer him. I'm never going to talk with him. I think he gets it now. Why? I think finally. That's why he's trying to now say dumb, insulting things on his Twitter. But, like, he, he again, he knows he's, he fucked himself. With what? The way that he behaved, and he knows I don't fucking waste time on that shit. He didn't fuck himself, Phil. You fucked up. And you're mad that you didn't get the 50K, dude. So. Now Keemstar ain't going to give it to you. If he doesn't know, how could he not know? How many times have I said it? How many times have I said, I'm done. I'm not working with that man ever on anything. In, in, in anything. Like, literally, never will I ever speak directly to him ever again. Yo, this is like when someone's like, you can't fire me. I quit. <laughs> uh, you're mad you didn't get the 50K. You should have jumped on it while you had the chance, man. Looks like that ship has sailed, Phil. They probably figured out they shouldn't work with you, dude. Because you're probably just... You you would definitely sink the whole fucking project, dude. Just like Project 7. And steal all the fucking money for yourself. He had his one conversation with me. He will ever he probably have knows that. He probably was never going to offer you the shit in the first place, again. dude. If he comes into my chat, it's a permanent ban. If he tries to contact <laughs> me, I ignore it and I block. He was I'm never going to offer you that shit to begin with, bro. He was <laughs> probably trolling your ass, dude. Zero interaction. If I go on this podcast, if we do a podcast together, me, Boogie, and Wings, I will never be on the show if he shows up. I will tell them I abstain from that episode. I have nothing to do with this man. I'm done with him. Bro. There you go. It was a troll. Nobody was going to ever give you anything. Now, can we I'm begin? sorry, Phil. Shall we begin tonight? I'm sorry. I think we've derailed enough. But now I've said my piece. I don't want to talk about it anymore either. Like I said, we're supposed to, again, supposedly there will be further conversation about the possibility of a show or something no. between me, Boogie no. and Wings, after their fight. Whenever no, it gets no, 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 no. Right? I'm basically no. just sitting and waiting. I'm, I'm you know... My attitude is business as usual with me. You're gonna until be... I hear anything, uh, anything otherwise or better. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what happens. Yeah, when okay. when pigs fly, when <laughs> pigs fucking fly, dude. That's when you'll get it. That's when you'll get a deal from Keemstar. All right. Um, are we ready? Go big or go home. Well, yeah, but don't blow all your money either. That's another problem. People try to go big and then they spend all their money they're not supposed to be spending, and that's massive remorse, right? So don't do that. <laughs> Hey, you Phil. Funny you mess around with Phil Burnell, right? Oh, it's real funny to do these horrible things to him because it's just a joke. No, it's not a joke. It's my life. Not Phil Burnell. Shill Burnell. Shill Burnell. The reason we do it is because Phil begs. Wrong. The reason they do it is because they want to see me suffer. That's right. Why does the character say you're you're a pig roach? You don't look like a pig or a roach. I don't know. I don't know what that means. That's one of their memes. I don't actually know what it means at all. Piggy Smalls took me a dollar says, Own the pig meme like others. Pigs rise up. Oh my god, here we go again. Another stupid meme. <laughs> Another stupid meme that means nothing. <laughs>